What's up guys, it is Kai here, and we are in Montreal, Quebec, in Canada, for the weekend. I have a free day, the event is tomorrow, so we're gonna go on a little adventure. So I've got my camera and all my lenses in there, but we're not gonna bring that today. We're just gonna bring this. This new iPhone 11 Pro, three lenses. I have been extremely impressed with this thing, especially with the camera. So we're gonna continue using that today and see how that goes. All right, out we go. All right, so we're out and about now. Already does not feel like California at all. Completely different vibe. Lots of fresh air, glowing autumn leaves. Everybody is interested in different things when traveling. So first define your interests. Then do some research of the area you're going to that may be within the boundaries of your interests. Just a comment on his iPhone. I'm freaking loving the quality and colors of how the footage is coming out so far. The points of interest I selected for this trip were food, clothing, malls, squares, and parks. I am beginning to realize that food, parks, squares, malls, and clothing is a lot to cover in one day, but we'll try our best. And it's always good to have points of interest to start with because those give you destinations to walk to. And once you have those destinations, then you can explore and stumble across new things. This place is absolutely insane. It's beyond words how beautiful everything is. It's perfect fall, the weather is just kind of brisk, not too cold. I think I'm here at the perfect time. It's this interesting blend of old European architecture with green nature everywhere, combined with tons of street culture. And we're just getting started. I'm on this side of the lake, but I need to be over there. Keep moving. Ouch. <laughs> so it's 3 p.m. now. We still haven't eaten anything, but I believe we have just found the place we were looking for. Hi there. Can I order for takeout here? Yes. Can I just get the classic? Got the package. So I have the poutine right here, but it's not going to do it any justice because it's been sitting in this box for the longest time. <coughs> yeah, uh, I'll try to find some footage of more fresh poutine, but it's essentially cheese with this gravy topping and some meats on top of fries. Do you see that little cross right there in the distance? That cross is Mount Royal, and that is one of the icons of Montreal. It's this big mountain in the middle of the city. A fun fact I learned through research is that none of the buildings in the city are allowed to be taller than that cross up there. We're gonna try to take the metro. I haven't tried it, but this will be fun. We're here. I think we want to go this way. I think we found our bakery. Check it. Oh my god. It's still warm. And with it being so cold inside, it's not only melting in my mouth, but it feels like it's melting my jaw. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Something that has been blowing me away about Montreal is just how vast of an array of aesthetics there are that are blending together. There's 
these amazing green trees and now they're turning orange and red because of the fall diverse set of architecture all over the place like look at these houses right here freaking amazing and on top of that there seems to be a pretty deep street culture because everywhere you go there's so much art and graffiti and murals that are actually really high quality hey look it's our camera I gotta say iPhone, you have been killing it. Props to you, I've been very, very satisfied with the footage that's been coming out today. It's starting to get dark, so it looks like we're gonna really be putting the low light capability to the test. You guys, this is pretty freaking incredible. Check this out. This honestly feels more like a spaceship. And although you might think that going to a mall is kind of a strange move when you're in a new city, it's almost always true that the mall is designed to be a place for social <laughs> gatherings. Gaza. When you are in places for social gatherings, then you're able to really see groups of people hanging out and just being themselves around each other in new places. Oh my gosh! We made it back! Oh. Dang! Okay, with the exception of that metro I took, I walked the entire day throughout Montreal. And that is definitely a testament to the city because Walking around, I was never bored. I was always encapsulated by something, something beautiful, something different or unique or special. And I enjoyed every single step, probably very sore, but it was definitely worth it. We nailed pretty much everything. We got food, we got art, park, and a mall. Besides those, we explored and discovered so many things that I wasn't expecting and had a great pleasure seeing. You don't need a destination always, right? But it helps because then you have a direction. But on the way to the destination, you're always bound to stumble into something new. And that happened a ton this trip. And I'm very happy with the results. I believe Montreal is such a slept on city. Please come here, I highly recommend it. You can always go to the places that I found because they're beautiful, but most importantly, make the journey your own. And I hope this video gave you some sort of template for you to optimize your journey. Tomorrow is the day of work. I still have a little bit of editing to do, so I'm about to get to that. Please subscribe, please like and comment on the video and tell me if you found this video helpful, where else you would like me to go, what else you would like to see, because we're trying to do this full time and I really love for you guys to be on the journey. I appreciate you for watching. Take care, I'll see you soon.